What's up, guys? A little update on the Chevelle buildup. Um, until I get the cage in, I can't run a harness. Uh, the harness I got. Right here. Um, so I bought a G-Force racing harness. Uh, it's got the cam gear or S cam gear or whatever it is they call them. Um, but like I said, I, it's not really. The car's not set up for that yet. So I've been wanting to get down the track and get some baseline times before I start doing more motor and trans work. So I went ahead and I did a little research on what I could do because right now I just got the lap belt and I'm not a fan of that. So I went ahead with the uh, there's a company seatbeltsplus.com um, I think I paid about $400 for it. I haven't installed it yet. I'm going to do a video of me installing it here now. Uh, but it's basically a three like your usual like your typical car um, with the lap belt and then the shoulder belt, shoulder strap. So it comes with this. Hopefully it works. Um, I got they got either bucket seats set up or bench seats set up, and I got I got buckets in here. So it comes with this and this. Um, this goes up to the A pillar, and obviously you know everybody knows where this goes. So um, it's kind of got a classic look to it. I I wanted an updated look, but. I was in, I'm in a bind, I kind of want something now, because I keep saying I'm going to put the cage in, I just haven't gotten to it, so I'm going to do this. Um, I got a driver and passenger side, uh, here's the included hardware, I'm sure it's all heavy duty grade stuff, so I just got a cover for the, the shoulder pile part. Uh, so yeah, looks like the instructions are on the website. Here's what I'm here's what I'm rocking here. See that? you're going to need is you don't need Milwaukee tool but they do help um, you're going to need a 3 8 drive um, you're going to need a half inch um, you don't have to have a deep well but I got a deep well uh, 3 quarter inch and obviously you're going to need your wrench so um, to get these off what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start here we're going to move this one this is where the buckle goes um, to do that, you're going to need a Torx head. The Torx head you're going to need is a T45. It's going to go under like that. And you don't need to keep the hardware, the hardware comes with it. Remove that. The new one they give you is actually a three-quarter bolt with a washer. You're going to remove this cover. Um, depending on how you put it on, obviously when I remove that cover, I'm actually going to put that cover on this side when I, when I put it back. Um, it's it's contoured to go around the seat. Um, I actually wish it was just straight, just for the fact that it would, it would work better. I thought about just taking these off, pulling these out. But, uh, I don't know, I might still do that. It's kind of nice because they stick up, uh, but they're so stiff that they kind of pull on you. But I'm going to leave them like this for now and see if they wear in. And uh, if they end up wearing, they might end up not being that bad. So, pull this one really good. This just goes in the hole here. I do use chrome sockets for my impacts. Since I already got that one at the right angle, I'm just going to match that. Tighten that up nice and tight. Okay. Cover in. And 
that's it for that. So that was pretty easy. Um, now we're going to move over to this the seat belt mechanism. Um, this is where it's it's the new ones just like that. So you got your box, tracks, and everything. Um, so this is going to go around the seat. This is going to be your lap belt. This will be your shoulder belt. But this kind of go up top, and I'll show you whenever I hook that up to the top of the roof there. Um, to create the third point. So to start, we'll get rid of this. Same size. G40. I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is. Not a speaker wire. I don't know if it's supposed to be something grounded or what. I'll have to trace that later and see. I'm gonna do new carpet here soon. Cause I gotta I gotta put I'm gonna put a cage in it, so I'll figure that out later. As of right now everything's working, so I'm not sure what that is. Obviously it wasn't working as a ground because it's not it's not skin. So um, before I put this one in we're going to spin the camera around we're going to do the one up top for that you're going to need uh, this uh oh well, i thought I, I think i told you it was three it's three sixteenths um three inch drive so we're going to need that you don't need any of this stuff because it comes with all the new Okay, get that site started. it so that piece is in nice and tight all right now that we got that installed we're just going to stick this on here like this and bolt her down all right this is the reason you're going to want the three quarter inch box wrench um can't get a socket on there so i'm sure i could take this off and unbolt it and all this and that but honestly i just do it this way I'll probably end up Seatbeltsplus.com. Got the instructions on this. You can read it and get all your torque specs. Nice movement. But if you jerk it, the inertia stops it. It's working like it should. It's in there. Tighten her up a little bit to where you want it. There you have it. Awesome. Alright guys, enjoy the video. Hopefully I get to test these things out at the truck next. Thanks.